Hey guys, I'm Ariel. I'm Sierra. And welcome back to Snacks and Chill. So today we have a DiGiorno Rising Crust Pizza. It ain't delivery. No, it's not. Not this time, you guys. Mm -hmm. This was requested by a special fan. Her name is Jackie. We love her so much. Shout out to you, Jackie. So we're just gonna eat some DiGiorno pizza today and we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna kind of switch it up today. We're not gonna have a story time. We're actually gonna play would you rather? Mm -hmm. So we have like 250 questions on our phone. We pulled them from a random website and we're just kind of going to go through. Answer all of them. Yeah. Just, all 250. Yeah. All 250 in one video, Get you guys. comfortable. <laughs> this is going to be like a five hour video, but. <laughs> Welcome. It's fine. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to dig right in. I'm freaking hungry. Oh yeah. yeah also hungry. I need all of my sweets. <laughs> also, I came here all with up. my own hair tie and then I found a hair tie of my own here. So, yeah, I have those now. It happens. So, do you want to start off or you want me to start off? Here, um, I'll ask you a question. Who, you guys? This is the supreme kind, by the way. Looking good. Mm hmm. Okay, do you ever dip this with ranch? Mm. Not usually because it has so much flavor. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, my bad. You're, no, no, you're it's right. fine. You're really. right. Okay, you guys. And also, I'm just going to kind of pick off the sausage. Um, I don't really like sausage all around that. Yeah, she doesn't like meat. I like pepperoni. Like, I'll eat pepperoni on pizza, sure, if it's there. Sometimes I pick it off. But in this case today, we're just going to eat them. We're just going to eat them. I feel like eating pepperoni. Oh, Ooh. I kind of, like, scrolled a little bit, mm -hmm. and I got such a good one. Okay, what is it? Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's, that's hard. hard because it's like if you know how you're gonna die, I feel like it would personally create anxiety for me my entire life because I would never know when that's gonna come. Right. I almost feel like I would say like when I'm gonna die because then I kind of know like what I should do with my life and like what direction I should be taking in my life. Like even though I'm on the right path right now, like if I knew I was gonna die in two years, honestly, I wouldn't even be applying for grad school. I wouldn't be. Like, I, I probably wouldn't even really be working. I'd just be traveling the world and just kind of doing whatever. Like, honestly, like, that's how I feel. But if I was going to live for another, like, 60 years, yeah, I would definitely keep going to school and, like, work and, like, do all the right stuff. I don't know. That's just my date. What do you think? I think I'd rather know how I'm going to die. Because if I knew when, I would probably, like, literally just give up on everything. Like, I would, like, <laughs> like never. I'd be like, why get out of bed? Like, I would be so... I don't know. I'd lose, like, all hope. So I'd rather know how, because then maybe you could also, like, try to stop it. Mm -hmm. Like, if I knew I was going to get hit by a bus, <laughs> then I would just be, like, extra careful around buses. I, I love know. that. I hope not. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen either. It really could, though. I mean, like, buses are kind of sketch. Well, you've almost gotten hit by, like, <laughs> everything <Anything>. in, <laughs> when, it, when you're in the city. Yeah, it's just... It's a struggle out there, you guys. And, like, I think it's hard for, like, buses and, like, semis and stuff to see you. I don't know. I feel like they're much more sketch. This pizza's really good, by the way. Picked off a little pile of sausage over here. Find any good ones? Oh, yeah. Um. I can't pronounce that word, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> what is it? Alliteration? Sorry, that was my credit card calling me because I haven't paid on it. <laughs> You're not going to get me today. <laughs> no. I love how she knows the credit card company by heart, like the number. Oh, they've I called me about five times a day for the past two weeks. So. <laughs> oh, my God. You're killing me, Small. They're killing me. <laughs> um, would you rather have a permanent splinter under your big toe or have a permanent bad haircut. Oh, give me that splinter. I don't care. I yeah, don't care. I take it. Well, I don't know actually because if you had a bad haircut, you could just put a wig over it though. Oh, true. I I would do the one the bad haircut because I would just wear a wig for the rest of my life. Like <laughs> I spoke too soon. No takes back. <laughs> I suck. So now you have a big splinter <laughs> on your top. Now I'm just walking with the limp for the rest and of my life. And your girl will be walking around with her weed with a fabulous looking set of hair. <laughs> yes. There's so many questions on there. It's actually insane. Yeah. Would you rather have the same phone forever or same haircut forever? I think no wig. Mm. Well, 
depends. Is the haircut good? Or it's like kind of okay? I think it's right now. I'd keep the same hair. I would, I need a new phone like over time. Not all the time. I'm not one of those people who needs a new phone like literally every single time it comes out. But like I upgrade every couple years. Because mm-hmm. the technology gets better and better. But what do you think? Hold on. Because I have tea on this. Okay. Have, has anybody else noticed that their phone starts to go bad after like two years? Really? I haven't noticed that partic- in particular. But I have heard people say that too. My phone? I don't think I've had a phone that hasn't started to like get something wrong with it where it starts like getting really slow or laggy around that two year mark when a new phone upgrade is available. I wonder if that's just um like what kind of phone is that? It's a it's not iPhone but it's, it's not Android. oh Android. I wonder if that's just Android or if it's iPhones too because I have iPhone. I've always had iPhones and I've never really had problems with it. Like I have the 10 now but I had the um six for literally like five years and it was fine, honestly. I never really had any problems with it. So, I don't know. I also dropped my phone pretty frequently. <laughs> Maybe there's there no we tea. Go. <laughs> Maybe there's no tea. But comment down below and let us know if that happens to you because it may be a thing. I don't I don't know. I just can't use Android, you guys. I just, I don't know. I can't use iPhones. iPhone. There's no back button. Comment down below. Well, not on my phone, but on... um. Well, there's that home button. You just press it all. I button. hate that. It's so that easy. That pisses me off. When I like go to click out of something, I just want to go back one page and I go all the way back to the home. I actually love, because on that iPhone 10 or whatever, there is no like button, like home button. And I just swipe now. It's so much nicer. Like I love not having home button. I thought before I was like, I'm going to hate that, but I actually love it. Would you rather have to wear sweatpants for the rest of your life or never be able to wear sweatpants again? I knew this was going to be hard for you. Because I love sweatpants, you sweatpants. guys. I think, okay, sweatpants doesn't count leggings, right? No, probably not. I would rather never wear sweatpants again because then I just wear leggings all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, I would just rather never wear them again. Yeah. Because the thing is, what if you have like a holiday party or what if you have something like super lit to go to and then you're always wearing sweatpants? Like, or like at work. How, how, how's that? Your wedding day. <laughs> yeah exactly like what are you supposed to do in that case i don't i don't think that's good would you rather always have a song stuck in your head or always have an itch you can't scratch a song stuck in my head i hate being itchy i feel Same. like my back is always itchy yes there's like a middle spot <laughs> where you guys know what we're probably talking about maybe hopefully <laughs> I, I but it's just us <laughs> yeah just literally us I asked Josh to scratch my back like five times a day. I'm not even kidding. I'm like within like a four hour period. <laughs> scratch my back, babe. Scratch my back all the time. He gets so annoyed with me, but I don't care. I wouldn't ask Daniel because I feel like I get frustrated because <laughs> his dull little finger. He has no nails. Like he has dull little finger stubs. Just like, oh, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would take the song. No, but for the rest of your life. No, I'll take I'll I'll take that itch like this. What? Yeah. Ooh, that would bug me. That would bug me so bad. I feel like I get used to it. Would you rather share your house with a family of rats or live with your parents forever? Mm. <laughs> How are those comparable uh... though at the same time? <laughs> Whose parents are that bad? Yeah, I'd have to live with my parents. Like yeah. I, you know, I guess she's the rats. <laughs> No, that's actually not that weird. Uh, Would you rather slowly walk across red hot coals or put your hand on a hot iron for 10 seconds? Mm. Mm, I'll walk across the coals. But what if you fall? Okay, I don't know if you guys know this. Josh has me watching a lot of weird stuff, documentaries, all kinds of stuff, you guys. Um, he's super into learning. But anyways, he had me watching this one thing where, like, these Indian people in India would walk across hot coals. I don't know. I think it was, like, a challenge. or I'm not really – I don't remember exactly what happened. But they would walk across hot coals. And then there was this woman who was running across the coals. And she fell in the coals. And she got burned so bad. And, like – 
that for me would just have me putting my hand on the hot iron because I'd be so nervous that I would be the one to also fall face first into the coals and I would like literally burn myself to a crisp. So rather just put my hand Whisby. on there. Quiz me. Quiz me. That'd be me. I just feel like your palm is so sensitive mm -hmm. and I feel like the bottom of our feet just aren't sensitive. Our, the bottom of our feet go through a lot. I don't know. I just feel like this is like just such a sensitive part of the skin. <laughs> I heard tattoos on your palm and hand hurt like some of the most because it, there's just like so many nerves in your hand. I can see that. And you have all the veins and stuff right there too. Yeah. Yeah, I um, can see that for sure. I'd rather just tiptoe across those coats. <laughs> Literally tiptoe. Love that for you. Would you rather be an extra in a really good movie or have a big part in a really bad movie? I think I'd rather be... I think I'd rather be a smaller part in a bigger movie because then I feel like people can still recognize you and like call you back for other movies later. I feel like if you're in a really bad movie that kind of like tarnishes your reputation mm -hmm. for other movies and nobody will want to cast you, if that makes sense. So I would rather be a smaller part in a bigger movie, like a good movie. So. Same. Mm -hmm. Would you rather eat as much chocolate as you want forever without any negative side effects or receive one million dollars? Oh, wait, you save one million dollars or receive? Oh, receive? Yeah, I'm taking the one mil. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's not even competition. Yeah, I don't know. I take that one mil, invest it so fast. I put half in the stock market and I put half into a house and rent it out. Steady income forever, you guys. Would you rather never remember somebody's face or never remember somebody's name? Never remember their face? Well, no, actually, because if you remember their name, what good is it without the face? I would rather never remember their name because if you see them, you could still be like, hey, what's up? Like a lot of times at my job, to be honest, because I'm still pretty new, like I don't know most people's names. So I'm always like, they're like, hey, Ariel. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, and nobody really knows that I don't know their name, right? So I think that's a little bit better situation because if you don't remember their face, how can you, you know, call them by their name? Okay, something really incredibly awkward happened to me. Okay. And I'm a little nervous to even share this. Salty sister. Case, you know, we do blow up and- <laughs> Blow and, up uh, physically and on YouTube. Person sees, but I'm ready to tell my story. All right. So I was going to see a customer in the parking lot. They look at me and they're like, hi, Sierra. <laughs> and I just thought they were regular. So, you know, they remembered me, but I was like, oh, hi. Not acting like I didn't know her, but I think she saw through it anyways. And she was like, I work with Daniel. <laughs> and I was like, I know that. Like, I did not recognize her. And she was wearing sunglasses. And I was like, I know that. I just couldn't recognize you because I couldn't see your beautiful blue eyes. And the second that left my mouth, I was like, you are such a stupid idiot. I was like, you don't know what color her eyes are. Why did you say oh. that? Why did you say that? And I just, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop my mouth from doing that. And the second I said that, she, her head goes like this. She goes, <laughs> she's like, blue eyes. She was like, I don't have blue eyes. My eyes are brown. <laughs> and, oh my God. And I literally like, I literally was like, I have to go now. <laughs> like, I didn't even try to recover. I didn't try to do anything. Nothing. I literally like smiled laughed and was like uh -huh. and I, I walked away like <laughs> oh my god and I ran inside the building and I screamed I literally <laughs> screamed and not she told my husband about it but so did I I told my husband I was like I'm so embarrassed like that was so stupid of me and when she brought it up to my husband she was like your wife said something about me having blue eyes <laughs> he immediately was like oh my god did she say that to you too he was like, she's been saying that a lot. It's like from a movie. Like, she's quoting some movie. I don't know what she's talking about. That's so cool. He was like, that's like her go-to line these days. And she was like, that is so funny. Really? Mm. And he covered for me. Daniel. 
Wow. That's why. That's why we're still together. Because I need to be a cover for how stupid I am. <laughs> I actually have a story that happened this week that was so oh great. God. I was like, no, this actually happened yesterday, I think. Yesterday or the day before. Something like that. Right? Happened a couple days ago, for sure. But so, there were, I was supposed to give out some keys for, like, the restroom and, like, the classrooms and stuff like that. Like, I had a couple keys that I had to distribute to paras, right? So, anyways... There's these two girls I literally say hi to every morning because I let them into the building, right? Because they don't have keys to open the building. So I let them in every morning because they come in around the same time as me. And so I literally see them every morning. I say, hi, good morning. How are you? We talk for a minute, right? And so I had to give them keys, but I didn't know it was them because their names were on the keys. And so I was like, oh, like this key and this key, like... Well, there was like five keys, right? So I distributed the three to the people I knew for sure their name was that on the key, right? And so the other two, I was like, oh, I asked um, my supervisor. I'm like, who's this and this, right? And so <laughs> my supervisor walked to the classroom with me and was like, oh, it's her and her, right? So, um, first, I didn't know because, okay, I can't see that well without my glasses, especially far away. So, she was like, that's her and that's her. And so, like, she kind of pointed weird, though, so I didn't really know because everybody was kind of, like, mixed. It was It's hard to explain, but it was kind of, like, lunchtime going on, so all the paras were there. And so, basically, she was like, oh, she's the one in the purple jacket because she couldn't, like... She could tell that I didn't know who she was pointing to. So she was like, that's the one in the purple jacket. And then she's over there in the red jacket. And I still couldn't see, okay? So I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm trying to play it off. My supervisor's like, do you still so not see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and then so she called their name. She was like, so-and-so, so-and-so, please come here so you can get your keys. And I, at this point, I feel even more stupid because then all the pairs are there. And I'm like, great. And so then the two girls that I talk to every day stand up. And they get their keys. But they knew at that moment that I did not know who they were. I did not know their names. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm literally, I feel like I'm turning red as I'm talking about this. Because, yes, because they came up to me and I was like, hey. Like, to both of them at the same time. And so they knew. They knew I didn't know their names. And it was, like, really awkward situation. I just tried to play it off as, like, nonchalantly as possible. But it was really so awkward for me and I felt so bad about it the rest of the day I kept thinking about it. I was like right I was like I just look even more stupid as usual like, every night for dummy. the rest of the year she's just gonna think about that <laughs> I'm gonna think about it I've thought about it like on and off the last couple days so because I keep seeing them and I'm like dang now they think and now I know their names obviously because now I associate those keys with their them you know so yeah um oh wait really cringe. quick also side story there was a customer that I thought her name was Diane. So I said, hey, Diane, every day for like a year. And somebody was talking about Carol. I was like, who's Carol? And they described her. And I was like, that's not Carol, that's Diane. <laughs> and they like we pulled her up on Facebook. And they're like, that her, her name's definitely Carol. And I, start, I literally started screaming. When I get really awkward inside, like I scream. Like I have to let it out. And I freaking screamed. And ever since then, I don't even say her name because I my I want to call her Diane. <laughs> like she looks like a Diane to me. And just don't say names. Yeah. Don't. Just say hi. Like if you are not for sure, like you would put your life on it that that's their name. Just don't no. even say it. That's my policy now too. I'm just like, hey, hey guys. Yeah. Hey, so and so. Like I, I just... messed up like five times. Last yeah. Year. yeah. All right. How many more should we do? Let's do one more. I'll do one more. One more and then we'll wrap up this video, guys, because we're getting kind of full. Would you rather receive 5000 every week for the rest of your life or you and your best friend receive 1000 for the rest of your life? Mmm. Yikes. <laughs> well, you know what? We both receive 1000 a month for the rest of our lives, like you and I. Mm -hmm. Or I receive 5 k a month mm -hmm. and you don't get anything. No. Nope. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> well, I'd probably be nice in that situation. I guess I'll give you 1k a month too. I'll share. Well, no. Or, no. 
I would take the 5k and, mm -hmm. and we split it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. That's literally what I just That was saw. the answer that I knew we would go with. Mm hmm mm hmm Then everybody wins. Exactly. We all win here. Mm hmm But if that wasn't an option, we would take the 1,000 and we would share. We'd work with it. Yeah. That's what we have to do. You gotta do what you gotta do in this life, right? Yeah. Am I right, you guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's right. Did you like the olives? I ate them because they were there. I was already picking off sausage, so I'm like, I cannot pick off olives too. Like, it's too much work. So, I just ate the olives. They were okay on the pizza. I've been like flicking off these bell peppers. I love bell peppers on pizza though. So good. I like mushrooms on my pizza. I hate mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. I have an olive in my mouth right now. <laughs> Great. So, this was our DiGiorno pizza mukbang. Jackie, especially, I hope you liked it. I hope everybody enjoyed mm -hmm. our mukbang for today. And comment down below and let us know your favorite pizza. Like your frozen pizza. Like your favorite frozen pizza. Because like, obviously there's lots of pizza chains. But, you know, we want to know. What's your go-to? Yeah, what's your go-to frozen pizza? Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.